Okay. Hey guys, I'm Kim. And I'm Perry. Welcome to Runaway Homestead. Uh, we finally have time to introduce ourselves to you. And it's been a challenge just trying to get our time together to where we could get something done for you. We did post a couple of videos for you to see just as we were getting our channel up and running. Come on, let's take a walk around the homestead. Let's do it. See in the background, we're uh, up on a hill and got quite a bit of open space and it gets quite breezy up here. So hopefully the wind will stay down and that won't be a issue with our recording. Okay, here's our first stop. These are our meat rabbits. We move them every day so they have fresh grass. Ellie Mae watches and would love to play with them. This is our chicken tractor normally, but we don't have chickens right now, so. It's a rabbit tractor. Put a little dog house in there for them to get out of the weather if they need to. Of course, they have a little roof that gives them shade. And the dog house thing works good. And they seem to like it. They have. These are the boys. That's Mama. Her name's Willow, but she gets called Mama most of the time. You like that, huh? Well, we go around the corner and have the chickens. I got their uh, hen house here with Kim's artwork on the door. This is the chicken coop. Very nice. Oh, we got one in the nest box. Ellie, let her be. Come on. Ellie, May, come. Ellie, May, come. Look at that cloud out there. That thing's in the shape of Kentucky. And that's where we are, by the way. We're about 30 minutes from the Stivers homestead. And uh, they've done a great deal to encourage us to do what we're doing today. We, uh, we repurpose a lot. I like old things. And I found this fence along the side of the road and I don't hesitate to uh, pick up stuff like this. The gate too. Yeah, the gate as well. Um, just because I, I love so much about our past, this fence just reminds me of my grandmother's house. That, uh, it's just like the fence that was around her yard. And here's the entry that I made for Kim to her garden area. Her garden's about 100 feet long and 25 feet wide. Weren't these from the Creek? cedar post, yeah, that I made this out of. For those of you that saw the Crooked Creek video, these uh, cedars came from there. If you haven't seen the Crooked Creek video, if you go watch it, it tells how we've gotten from where we are there to where we are now. Um, and as I say, we like to repurpose a lot of stuff. So instead of uh, tossing this ladder when it was no longer safe to use, we're just gonna put it to use out here in the garden. I just put some uh, chicken wire on it and 
growing a cucamelon up the ladder. And like so many others, yes, we love to use cattle panels. This, uh, tell you a little bit about me real quick. I work on a golf course. I'm a project manager for renovations. And there used to be four of these at the entrance of the golf course, and they were columns. And they were just gonna tear them down. And I had an idea to take one of them and open it up, put a door on it, and keep a place for garden tools and whatever Kim needs out here that's handy. This is a fairy garden that me and my granddaughters put together and they loved coming and rearranging everything. We've got some morning glories growing up the side of the trellis that's over it. They have a lot of fun. pumpkins and melons and cantaloupes and our, uh, two of our grandsons helped us with doing this. They had a pretty good time doing it and they really enjoy seeing their stuff grow. Around the corner I want to show you this. Right down here, this is something that reminds me of my other grandmother that had grapes on a fence row and I cannot believe how well all of these things are doing and at the rate it is traveling down the fence I find this really cool we just put these in last year yep over here we have a few fruit trees, apple, pear, plum, and a couple of beehives. Uh, they were from two swarms that I caught this year. And I promised the stivers the next swarm I catch, I would be given to them. We almost had one. Yes, very disappointing that uh, I got a call last Thursday about a hive. And when I got there and got out of my truck, the son told me he unloaded on them with wasp spray. So I may do a video just trying to get people to teach their children that they don't have to be so afraid of them. Um, I know we're taught as we grow up that stay away, they can hurt you. But honeybees are really so docile you really have to aggravate them to, to get stung. And that was, a, that was a disappointing feeling. Uh, heard me mention, I like old stuff. Uh, and people call me when they see stuff on the side of the road. few more things that was a gift from a friend uh, some of the tobacco stuff you see I have a good friend that uh, his dad worked for Brown and Williamson and this is all I think they call it 
new old stock that uh, had never been out. And so he gave me quite a few uh, pretty cool things. And I don't know how much you can tell in here. This is a, as you can see, I like the piddle a lot. Uh, this was like a coat tree that I saw when we were vacationing in Florida that I liked because it was so unique. It's a little hard to see, but um, yeah, you can see that on the inside, it's got hooks for children so they can hang their coat. And I might as well let you see around my shop a little bit, although it's a mess, but that's kind of me. Um, and like I said, I just, I like old stuff. Sometimes I take off from work early in the mornings and I'm fortunate enough I can run hit an estate sale here and there. But this actually does help sustain the homestead um, just by making things, selling things, want to do more of that um, with possibly farmers market bring it into this side and uh, I make diddlers for those of you that are familiar with them um, I have a lathe I turn rings um, I turn bottle stoppers. I do Christmas ornaments, but I don't think I have any of those around. And I turn ink pens. And uh, a, another ring made from a burning bush. So I've got another ring in the lathe right here. That's a walnut ring. I have to finish putting a finish on. But this is a this is a big part of the homestead on my end of it. With Kim being the the main gardener of the two. And so this is kind of from my shop up on the hill and looking back toward the garden and the house. We have a pond out back. And here's the pond. It, uh, it's a couple of years old. I have a slow leak in it. I've got a neighbor that uh, used to have a business that closed up abandoned wells. And he would use bentonite to seal them up. And he had about 550 pounds. And we mixed it in a slurry in a big tub and he kind of made a gun that we could shoot it out of around the bank. And uh, I've gone from about seven leaks down to two or three, but I'm gonna do another vlog on this so that you can see what I do to uh, continue to move that bentonite around. Uh, it was all in a powder form and what I've been told is that the chips or the granular is better. Uh, so if there's any of you that have tips on this, uh, feel free. Uh, share your advice. I'm always glad to listen. We're going to turn around and head back to the house. It's awful muggy out here today. But we'll see you again in a minute. What? <laughs> Kim didn't like that ending. <laughs> Alright, let's see if this works better. Okay, she didn't like that ending, so we're doing it again. Alright, here we go. We're heading back to the house. Thanks for hanging out and going with us on our little walk around the property. And, uh, hope you've enjoyed it. We hope to see you soon. And hopefully these vlogs will come a little bit easier as we go along. Thanks for watching. And we will see you later. What's in there, Ellie? What do you got? What is it? Ellie Mae, what do you got? Oh,